farmers are already seeing as well the benefits of that investment. Uh, and I increased production of direct consumption sugar. And we've highlighted to them that, for example, last crop, the 2021 crop, uh, the, by replacing the raw sugar that we're producing with direct consumption sugar, we sold twice, amount, uh, twice the amount of uh, direct consumption sugar than we did in the 2020 crop. And the price improvement to farmers uh, for last year was $3.21 per ton of cane. And it's been steadily improving since we've made this investment uh, of 64 million to move towards a, a greater production of direct consumption sugar. And for next year, that benefit is continuing. We're seeing improvements in uh, world market uh, price for sugar. We're also bringing in the benefits of the transition to Big Creek, so seeing lower ocean freight savings. And that is uh, resulting in an improvement in the price for cane. Uh, we're, we, compared to last year, the first cane price estimate last year was 43.86. This year is $50.62. What that will result to is that the first payment that is going to be made to farmers for this upcoming crop will increase from $36.40 to $40.50. So it just demonstrates that the investments that we're making are having tangible benefits to cane farmers.